Hey there, Abito23 here again. And I wanted to do a My Thoughts on video, but and I, I found a little little air today, but right now I want to do another comparison because this is something I kind of just thought up at the spur of the moment. And this is going to be between two really great compilation titles. And those are Sonic Mega Collection and Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Both of which I own for the GameCube, as you can tell. Both are great. Both are very great, and they, in, you know, bringing uh, retro gaming back. You know, bring, you know, like holding a ton of older games, and kind of bringing it back for us, to, you know, to enjoy again on uh, newer systems. But to figure out which one I like more, we'll have to kind of break it down. We'll start with Sonic Mega Collection. Now, Sonic Mega Collection has a total of 12 games on it. Seven of which you start out with, which are Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, eh. Sonic Spinball, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. The, you know, the, puzzle, the puzzle game. The five other games you can unlock are like the Blue Sphere, which is basically the bonus stage from Sonic 3. Uh, Sonic Knuckles and Sonic 2, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is probably one of the best Sonic games out there ever. <laughs> Pardon me. And you unlock two other games, which are not really Sonic games, but they, I guess they're probably made by the same team, I guess. But the two other games that you can unlock for this uh, Sonic Mega Collection are Flicky and Wrist Star. Yeah. Those are about the... Flicky, I guess, as far as I know, is probably a um, Master System game, or what? Well, maybe a Genesis game. I don't know. Never really bought it. It's uh, Flicky's fun for the most part, and really all the games, you know, even are pretty good. Even you know, even 3D Blast is it's kind of good to an extent, but it's still yeah. Compared to the other Sonic games, it's yeah, not that good. So yeah, but all the games are really great. They really did a great job of converting them to the, uh, you know, to the GameCube. Of course, this also did come out come out to the uh, PS2 and Xbox. The Sonic Mega Collection Plus, which basically has, contains uh, Game Gear Sonic games, which I'm I'm betting they're the same ones that appeared in Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. But so far, yeah. Pretty, you know, pretty good collection for the most part. Now for the Mega Man Anniversary Collection, it also contains several older games, obviously. Most of which have appeared on the NES. For uh, the first six that you know came out appeared on the NES. Then you got Mega Man Seven, which came on the Super Nintendo, and Mega Man Eight, the uh, which you have the yeah, which you know Mega Man Eight, which appeared on the PS One and Saturn. This game has the PS One version. There's two unlockable games for it, which are both the Mega Man arcade games, which are Mega Man The Power Battle and Mega Man 2 The Power Fighters. Both of which are very fun, especially with The Power Fighters. Power Fighters is very fun. And for the most part, all the Mega Man games are pretty good. And, and 8, I would say, have to be, have, would have to be one of my least favorites, but it's still good, okay? I still, I still like Mega Man 8. And they did a pretty good job converting it, although... Well... How can I say this? They did kind of change out some things. There, like you know, there was some, there were some minor changes made to it, like especially you'll, that you'll notice. But they're minor changes, and they not really affect that. All that. The one of the uh, things about Mega Man Eight that kind of made the conversion a little bit less, you know, did kind of make it a little off is that the uh, voices for the for the last four bosses for Swordman, Astroman, uh, Searchman, and Aquaman are very high pitched. You know, when you're fighting them, they, their voices are incredibly high pitched. So yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, but you know, I can. But you know, the game still plays pretty well, so I can go. I can look past that. Now, as far as, far as the lockables go, or, or as extra content goes, Sonic Mega Collection, I think, kind of get, 
it holds a, a little better in that area because you got special. Well, there are special movies you can watch. You know, you got there are like little movies you can watch on here. You got like, and of course, there's also like a covers for like all the Sonic the Hedgehog comic books that were made by Archie Comics. That's pretty cool. That, well, not all of them. There was only up to the more of the more recent ones. I'm, you know, I think it was uh, called War Games. I think it was the title of it. But yeah, it has all of them to that issue of, of Sonic the Hedgehog. And there's even a fully readable I issue of uh, of the uh, Sonic of a uh, special special edition of, of Sonic the Hedgehog. So that's pretty good. So you get some pretty good extras in this game, you know. And yeah, can't say much else. Mega Man Anniversary Collection also gives some, um, it too gives a few extras, such like I think, um, I think con some conclude, include uh, artwork, I think, some like a fan art drawing, I, know, I, I, may, I may be thinking about the Mega Man X Collection. There's also, but there's another like a special songs that you can um, unlock, and a special uh, interview with uh, KG and Afune, uh, you know, who me, you know, uh, he, you know, with him. I was about to say the uh, the former guy at Capcom. He was he was still working with Capcom at the time, but he's currently heard he's left, you know, because he was kind of feeling miserable with his job. So we'll miss, you know, we'll miss you, Anafune. You uh, cr created a really awesome series with Mega Man. But yeah, you get a special interview with you know, behind the scenes of the Mega Man series, which is, which all it really is is just a um, a shortened version of the uh, episode of Icons, you know, and the uh, the Mega Man episode of Icons that's seen on G4. That's basically all it is. So you don't get much in terms of so the content I got to say is a little bit lackluster compared to what you get inside the Mega Collection. But I'd say, as far as appeal goes, I think I like um, I think I like Mega Man Anniversary Collection better because Mega Man appeals a little bit more to me than Sonic the Hedgehog does. Not that I don't like Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, Sonic the Hedgehog is a great character. I think he, I think he was a, definitely a good rival for Mario. You know, when he came when he came out to the Sega Genesis, you know, that was he was a great rival for Mario and really pulled out. Of course, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of and really kind of. It was very a kind of much of a surprise, you know, this, that the first Sonic the Hedgehog actually outsold Super Mario World, considering Super Mario World was actually the better game. I know, uh, so it was kind of a style over substance time, at, you know, moment at that time. But still, you know, Sonic was a great character. He was a very unique character. You know, had a great sense of speed about him. You know, and just and had a great attitude. Definitely had a personality. Couldn't say much for Mario at the time, so you know at least now at least he's got personality now these days, sort of. But overall, yeah, I have to say, really, comes when it comes down to overall appeal, I like the Mega Man Anniversary Collection better. But if you own both of these games, you know, if if you own both of them just like I do, tell me which one's your favorite. You know, which one you like the best and why. Anyway, that'll be all. I hope to get to my, my thoughts on video and you know soon. And until then, this is Albedo 23 signing off.